welcome. Today is August 13, 2020, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels in the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. So, as always, uh, before I begin, I would like to go ahead and burn. And this isn't sage. This is uh, time. <laughs> This is actually the very first uh, one I've ever created. Uh, I kept it on reserve um, because it's my first, right? And um, since I, I ran out of wands, um, I decided to burn it. And it burns really nice, you know? Time smells nice. You know, I know that we use it in, in cooking, you know? I'm just saying. All right. So let's go ahead and see what are the energies of the divine masculine and divine feminine for today. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the current overall energies of our divine masculine and divine feminine. And what are their energies towards each other? What is the current overall energies, please, spirit, of our divine masculines and divine feminines? And what is their energies towards each other? I feel like I had something in my eye. What are the energies, please, spirit? What are the energies that want to come through for the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Collective? Thank you. So, Masculines, we have a mystery. She carefully folds the paper with great care and as much precision she can give to the art. She dangles them on string, lightly moving her fingers around in a small dance. Only she knows the secret wishes written on them, filled with words of thought and secrets. Someday, though, she may share the contents of her heart hidden within, but for now, only she knows. Wow! You know, overall, masculines are feeling like, you know, there's a mystery, you know, between what it is that they would like to say towards you, feminine. And this could be uh, this masculine and how they think of you. You know, I really feel like there is a, a, a sense of mystery uh, for what I'm feeling or with this masculine. I feel like masculine is trying to figure out feminines. That's what I'm feeling. And towards you, wow, we have deception. Someone is not being honest and something is not as they seem. There is a deception happening with your partner or a close friend or someone could be you. Could it be that you or someone else is lying to yourself and those around you? It might not be a deliberate deception, but it is a deception nonetheless. Wow. 
So masculine is being called out, okay? There's something that they're not revealing. And I feel like, you know, overall, there is a sense of mystery about how they truly feel towards you, feminine. That's what I'm getting, okay? I feel like, you know, even though that this masculine may not be writing it on paper, perhaps, you know, uh, they have written uh, something, okay? Like in a text message or, you know, or maybe in their notes uh, somewhere or somehow about how they feel towards you. And I feel like this masculine, okay? They could be in denial. They could be deceiving, okay, themselves about how they feel. That's the feeling I'm getting. Wow. Oh, masculine. So, feminines, your overall energy is flirt. Flirting does not have to be sexual. Anyone can flirt and is used for a few different reasons. To try and attract someone or show you have an interest in them or simply be playful or reconnect. It can be used to move or close closure to someone's personal space. So if I meant overall, I feel like you're in this mood of a flirtiness, okay? Some of you feminines could be dating other uh, suitors, okay? That's for some of you. But I really feel like overall, I feel that feminines... You know, you're you're either being called to flirt more, maybe you're a little bit closed off because in the beginning of the week I saw that you feel like you're in the oblivion, masculines aren't paying you any attention, you're not uh, getting, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the time, focus, and attention coming from their energy, from what I can see, and uh, masculines, they're deceiving you, okay, they're not showing you how much they truly feel. But I feel like this masculine is really looking at you like a mystery. They can't figure out how they feel towards you, but deep down inside they do, okay? And feminines, you know, I feel like, you know, for, for most of you, you do want to flirt with your masculine. You want to go out on a date, okay? I've been channeling this for the feminines for the past week, you know? I feel like feminines, you really want to go out on a date with your masculine. Masculines are holding back their truth, okay? That they really do love you, okay? There is just some kind of mystery that they're trying to figure out. They can't understand, like, what is this uh, energetic pull that they have, they are so drawn to your mystery, okay, or mysticism, from what I can feel. And feminines, you know, you need to open up a little bit, is what I'm feeling. Maybe, you know, reach out and flirt to your masculine. But um, I feel that this masculine is holding back and so are you. That's the feeling I'm getting because I feel like both you guys are afraid to get hurt. And towards your masculine... Again, wow, we have unrequited love. They do not feel the same energy and frequencies you may be experiencing. They do not feel the same towards you as you do for them. That's why you're feeling this way. You know, feminines, I feel like you want to be flirty. You know, this could be, you know, towards your masculine. It could be towards a new suitor, whatever the case is. If you're flirting, you're not, you're not feeling it. I'm just saying. And masculine is putting up a wall. They're deceiving themselves that they have like this fire connection with you, right? You know, because to you, you know, you're a mystery. They're trying to figure you out. They're, they're trying to see like, where do you fit into all of this, right? And feminines, you know, you just want to be loved. You want to be cared. You want to be nurtured from what I can feel. And towards your masculine, you feel like it's one-sided. You feel like the masculine doesn't love you as much as you love them. And I feel like feminines, that's why you're, you're closed off with your emotions. You're afraid of getting hurt. You're tired of being rejected. You know, that's the feeling I'm getting. Because in this depiction, both masculines and feminines, you, you have your arms closed. Okay? So I really feel like you're, you're blocking your feelings. You're not being open. Okay? And generally, uh, generally being intimate with one another. If you're intimate, you'd be looking at the eyes. Okay, you'd be touching, embracing, uh, you know, the other person, the counterpart, opening, okay, your, 
your body, your mind, your soul connecting, okay, energetically through what? Your vision, okay, because that's what's important for feminines, right? Because y'all, you know, your perception is everything. <laughs> You got to you got to be all encompassing, okay? Fine. You got to feel, you got to see, you got to taste, you got to touch, you got to do everything, right? Not just, you know, just see, you know. But that's what I'm saying, and that's why feminines are feeling this kind of a way. So, let me go ahead and see what else. Spirit, please reveal to me what is this underlying energy with this collective? What is the underlying energy with the masculines and feminines for today? What is the underlying energy, please, Spirit? Thank you. Work through your fears, okay, masculines. You know, feminines are a mystery towards you, but you need to work through your fears about like this mystery. You need to solve it by opening up. I really feel like masculines is really, you know, scared to approach their feminine. That's why they're putting up a wall. They're trying to deceive you, you know. Yes, you know, they want to be intimate, but do you see that they're touching each other, but not really looking at each other in the eyes, even though that their eyes are locked up? okay and each other's embrace is what i'm feeling you know masculine um there is a, a darkness to this masculine and it's slowly unraveling and it's their feelings right masculine is deceiving the feminine that they truly feel for you and that's what they're scared of okay that's what i'm seeing and towards you feminines okay Expect a powerful change, okay? And it could happen around the new moon, and uh, especially if it's an eclipse. Now, I think that there's a couple of eclipses, uh, eclipses that happen in this year. One had already passed. I think it was in June or July. Um, but there is a new moon that's approaching. I feel like it's on the 18th. Um, and on that day, there is going to be a powerful change about this deception that this masculine was uh, covering, you know, from you feminines, okay? Whatever that they have been holding back, whatever that they were fearing, okay? Whatever this mystery is that they have when it comes uh, to you, I feel like they're slowly opening up, okay? Now, with you feminine, meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. I really feel like feminines, you have to meditate on opening up, okay? And I really feel that there are some choices and decisions that you have to make in your approach when it comes to dating and, you know, relationships in general, from what I can feel. You don't, you know, whenever you're involving yourself in a romantic encounter, it could be your masculine or not, okay? Flirting does not mean leading up to uh, sex, okay? I'm just going to put it out there. You can be flirty, okay? And, um, and it can be used for, you know, different reasons. And it's just for an attraction, okay? You don't have to go all the way, <laughs> You know, and I also see that, you know, it, it's just a way for you to show your personality that you can be playful uh, in that particular way, okay? So just, um, you know, meditate on how you flirt. This could be with your masculine or whoever that, that you're opening up to, okay? This could be a new person. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like I'm getting like two different energies for this feminine. And, you know, the reason why I say that is because towards a masculine, you have unrequited love. You're heartbroken that you're not receiving the reciprocity and in feelings and emotions, okay? Masculines, they're deceiving themselves about how they feel, okay and you feel like it's one-sided masculine isn't showing you how they feel back you know and you're heartbroken but feminines little did you know that the masculines it really hurts them okay to be openly expressive of their emotions towards you that's why they, they have this wall up because it hurts okay so just because um masculine isn't showing you this is what i'm feeling 
you have to look at it from the perspective of the masculine is what I'm feeling. That's why feminines, you know, you have to learn to love yourself first, okay, and not seek validation and love from another person to feel uh, like a, a void within you, okay? You have to do that by yourself, not with someone. That's what I'm saying because honestly, the way that this feminine looks, okay, if this is being flirty, she looks like she's closed off. She's looking for validation. She's looking for acceptance. That's what I'm feeling, okay? And it's because there's lack, lack of reciprocity, namely from who? Your twin. Because <laughs> your twin isn't giving it to you. That's what I'm feeling. And you could be trying to find that elsewhere with, with another partner, but you're not feeling it all either, okay? That's what I'm seeing. And towards your masculine, nothing is yet set in stone, okay? So it's mutable, okay? This is changeable. It, it might be a little bit rocky. Your feelings, your emotions uh, are a little bit chaotic, feminines. You're feeling this heartbreak, this pain, that masculines isn't, you know, reciprocating their love back towards you. And you feel that uh, they don't feel the same way as you do as towards them, okay? That's what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and see what's going on because uh, today's energy is a little peculiar. There's a reason for this, okay? So Spirit, what is currently going on with the masculine's 3D life? What is currently going on with the masculine's 3D life? What is currently going on, please Spirit? You know, both I feel that masculines and feminines, they have fear. There's fear in, in both of you, okay? For feminines, it's fear of rejection. For masculines, it's fear of intimacy. That's, that's the feeling I'm getting, guys, okay? So let's see. Faithfulness, okay? So overall, energy of this masculine is being faithful. And they're like a loyal servant, right? They are a faithful, loyal servant. This masculine has uh, became more gentle. That's the feel I'm getting. If they were so, ri you know, rugged, rigid, uh, blocked off, closed off, they're learning to let down their guard okay um this feels like uh the nine of wands in reverse letting go okay or the six six of uh what's it six of wands six of uh swords in reverse we have here a doctor you know this masculine could be seeking medical help healing themselves, learning to love themselves, being faithful, you know, and I feel like this masculine um, could be a doctor, they could be helping other people also, and then there's an enemy, there's someone who is looking at your masculine heal, damn, I really feel like it's the karmic. Karmic is like, you know, thinking that the masculine is all boohooing over them and they're kind of shocked and surprised that, you know, they're doing actually much better than how they left them. Damn. I'm sorry, but. And I see that there's some sort of consolation that um, this uh, karmic is wanting. Because I feel that this karmic is, is looking for for something of really hurting this masculine or how the masculine hurt the karmic, whatever the case is, um, this karmic it was looking for something out of this ending um, from this uh, person. And the masculine is actually uh, getting um, healing support, okay, or something like that. 
they're being healed uh, by their faithfulness and devotion to self serving themselves okay not towards other people but it could be towards other people from what I can see oh wow it's about reunion so get this Masculines are healing so that they can be in union with you feminine and the karmic is watching they're trying to see uh, if you're if they're gonna come back to you Wow man what in the world and masculines got it under control they're like um, I thought I broke you off I thought I paid you off karmic isn't that enough? What else do you want from me? Karmic is still watching. They're, they're like trying to figure out how, how is this masculine bouncing back a lot faster than normal? They don't understand. They should be like um, suffering or, or something like that, right? This karmic is shocked that this masculine is recovering faster than, than they can fathom, right? And I see that, you know, someone is sighing. I feel like it's the masculine. They're like, oh, karmic. You know, you don't get it. I have a deep connection with my feminine. That's how I'm able to heal. I've been on this twin flame journey, whether you knew that I was a twin flame or not. And um, you're still trying to hang on. But, you know, our, our karmic contract is over, right? <laughs> Why? Because masculine is faithful and loyal servant towards the connection, towards uh, this uh, twin flame journey that they have with their feminine guys, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Wow. So let's see. Feminines, uh, what is going on with you? Because uh, nothing is yet set in stone. You feel like there is this unrequited love. You want to flirt, okay? So let's see. Uh, Spirit, please reveal to me what is currently going on with the feminines in their 3D physical life. What is uh, going on with the divine feminines, please, Spirit, in their physical life? Thank you. So feminines, you're thinking of the past, okay? Uh, for some of you feminines, uh, you could have gotten uh, uh, separated from a karmic partner, okay? Um, I feel like for some of you, you ended a, a relationship from what I can feel. But in a sense, you know, you possibly could feel like you have been widowed, okay? Orphaned or released or let go. However the case is, you're thinking of the past. And you're thinking about how something uh, was taken from you. That's why, you know, you feel like life is not fair, you know, you're feeling kind of hurt and in a sort of a way from what I can feel. And that's why you want to be in this flirty mood. You want to be lighthearted. You want to have a relationship, you know, something normal for once, right? You, you've been thinking, you know, how, how could you get yourself back out there after being alone for such a long time is what I'm getting. That's what I'm seeing. And uh, you could be meeting up with uh, other people. Um, this could be in a conference. This could be at work. Um, this could be in um, a public place, for what I can feel. This could be on the internet also, if you're sitting at home uh, on your computer, okay, or your cell phone device, whatever the case is. And you know it brings you a sense of joyfulness you want to be happy is what i'm getting you want to you miss uh the uh intimacy with being with another person being uh in in company you know with someone and i really feel like you know this this is collectively speaking we have been in this social distancing since the beginning of the year pretty much and so what i'm feeling is that feminines uh you're really missing being with someone being out in group situations is what i'm getting that's why you're really reflecting of the past and you know you you want to feel like you know accepted you know or loved 
Yeah, I see that you're having conversations with your girlfriends or guy friends, right? You know, and that's what makes you happy. This sense of togetherness, like a like belonging to a group or, you know, or to a situation is really helping you to uh, release your mind on your mask on because I feel like, you know, in order for you to uh, let go of the past, you're you're trying to make uh you know some new uh energies in the present moment you know because i really feel like feminines you just want to be happy you're tired of uh longing for your masculine who is not really reciprocating their love back towards you but just know this feminines okay this is not permanent it's just how things are playing out in this now moment and i see here a friend so again you know, that's why I feel that feminines, some of you, okay, um, have a friend that you could be flirty with, okay? It's very surface level. It's nothing too deep. And this friend actually gives you joyfulness. And I feel like it's because the masculine hasn't been there for you physically, okay? Or even like, you know, long distance, even, you know, with text messaging. I really feel like this masculine isn't really giving you much okay and there is a friend that you have been acquainted with that is actually bringing you this joyfulness in the meantime masculines i see that they're healing they're healing so they can have reunion with you and they know that you have been uh, patiently waiting you have been sighing like when are you coming masculine but you know this these things take time okay so again it's a continuation from yesterday's reading but there's a, a karmic who is watching the mask on heel. They're trying to figure out how are they doing this? How are they healing so quickly after something, you know, that happened between them? And uh, this uh, karmic is looking for, for a payout of some sort. That's what I'm seeing. Wow. I don't know who this person is, but, you know. You know, in feminines, you have an old woman, okay? So there is an older woman who is a friend to you, okay, who you're having conversations with, and it brings you a sense of joy. So like like in the beginning, okay, this flirtiness does not have to be sexual. It could be like a same-sex person, uh, and... And it's used for different reasons, okay? It's to attract someone, um, you know, and I feel like it's for joyfulness. It's for, you know, conversation. Um, it's for a genuine friendship is what I'm getting. This older woman brings you a sense of joy. <laughs> they could bring you flowers. That's kind of peculiar. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. And I see a lot of conversation uh, going on. And finally, yeah, I feel like, it, you know, because of this, you're of service. This is a really good energy that I'm feeling from this feminine, okay? So feminines, I really feel like you're, you're uh, um, either participating in group situations, um, you know. Um, it's like, you know, um, kind of like... Um, you know, looking for like-minded people. This could be your spiritual, um, you know, group or spiritual family. Um, and there are friends, okay, within this group. These people help you to get out of, you know, thinking about your mask on 24-7 because you keep thinking about the past, right? You know, and, and how, like, you know, someone took your mask away from you and you feel like this unrequited love, you know, how it was one-sided and how the mask left you for a karmic situation. Well, feminines, what I'm seeing here is that this is old news, okay, because now you're, you're introduced to, like, new friendships, new groups of people, you know, I feel like this is your soul tribe is what I'm getting, and because of these people, you have learned to become more of service towards the collective, doing your light work, okay, or being of service, you know, towards other people, spreading your light is what I'm getting, and in the meantime, masculine is really seeing that you have been faithful you have been devoted 
you know you have truly loved this masculine and for that masculine can see this masculine is now trying to become more faithful and devoted towards you even though that this masculine is not really saying this towards you i see that right now they're actually healing themselves they're healing themselves from a karmic person and um you know and you know the getting away from the materialistic aspects of what life is for this masculine because they were um, living in a certain way based on a uh, you know conditioning okay societal conditioning from what i can feel and as they heal they're preparing themselves for union and they're in control of the situation when it comes to the enemy which is the karmic okay and about like their payout okay whatever that they're getting out of this situation they have it under wraps and and i see that you know there is a sigh i feel like of relief that this masculine is finally going to work through their fears they're gaining more confidence um and becoming more secure i feel like this masculine is working on uh, their their groundings their roots okay they're learning uh, to uh you know plant themselves okay instead of being like up in the air with everything so this masculine is becoming more stabilized and i see that there's a powerful change about this deception that they have been uh showing towards you feminine but you're not seeing this okay so in the meantime feminines okay have your conversations and be joyful with the new friendships that you're formulating with your soul tribe be of service okay because i feel like that's what you're being called to do at this time and that's really beautiful guys wow i really like that energy so let's go ahead and see what is the energy of this masculine towards you, feminine? How are they currently thinking of you? How are they feeling? What is it that this masculine wants to do? What do they want to do about the situation? What is the challenge? And what is their outcome? Huh? They want another chance, like what? Yesterday and uh, the future, okay? Masculine is possibly sending you music, right? Like a musical reference, maybe uh, sending you a song. But I definitely see that this masculine um, is getting ready to see if you will take them back, okay? They're, they're ready to be judged, okay, by you is what I'm feeling. And I also see that they know that... Um, there is no justice in the connection. Perhaps this masculine is ready for this judgment because they're actually going to court and getting a divorce. Okay, this is a divorce. This could be some sort of legal document that they had to uh, separate from a karmic. Okay, that's why the karmic is looking at this masculine heal, but they're looking for a consolation. It's like there's some sort of payout that this karmic is looking for while this masculine is, is working on himself, healing himself. Wow, like really, karmic? That's what I'm seeing. So there's definitely uh, something like that that's happening for this masculine. And wow, and after they end the situation with the karmic, guess, well, guess what? This masculine, they want to offer you a new connection. They're like, uh, feminine, let's, let's get together, right? And I see that, you know, there, there is a similarity here with this flirtiness, right? Both you guys have like a glass of wine and, uh, you know, for some of you, you might have it on the beach or near water, okay? You could be overlooking a body of water, uh, meeting up with your masculine is what I'm seeing. Oh, that is so cute. Look at this. There's two kitties down there and the black kitty is offering the the patch the patch looking kitty um a goldfish <laughs> isn't that cute oh my god and oh look at this this is so beautiful this uh, woman is wearing a blue dress and this uh mask is wearing a blue shirt with a green vest <laughs> guys my mask on, he likes to wear a vest. 
<laughs> I feel like he's opening up his heart. That's what I'm feeling. Wow. So, I also see that there's a Nine of Wands, but it's in reverse. Okay, so Masculine is releasing their guard, right? They're releasing their guards is what I'm feeling. Wow, guys, that's what I was feeling earlier. I said it was the Eight of Wands, right? But it's really the Nine. Uh, because the Eight of Wands is like no communication. So this is like releasing, you know, um, you know, holding back. And, you know, just giving in, being more open. And I see that <laughs> this masculine will really wants to get together with you. They have their map out, okay? They're trying to figure out where you live, okay? I've been channeling this for this particular masculine. They're trying to figure out where you are, okay? Uh, where you should go out on a date, right? <laughs> you know, masculines, uh, I feel like, you know, they, they might not have much to offer from what I can feel, but they're feeling good about it, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting, and... They want to go towards their destiny. They want to try their luck with you, feminine. They want to spin the wheel. They're like, wherever uh, destiny takes us, you know, you know, is what this masculine is feeling. And um, I see that this masculine, they don't know what the future holds, but I feel like they're being divinely guided, right? For their true happiness. Finally, I feel like this masculine, they want to take you out on a picnic. And this could be with family. Wow, that is so beautiful. Look look at how intimate this masculine is looking at the feminine. They're locking their eyes, the gaze. They're, they're opening up, okay? This is true intimacy right here. Looking uh, at each other in the eyes. And look, the kids are watching. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. The kids can really see that the masculine is truly happy with the feminine. Guys, that's beautiful. Wow, this is so beautiful, guys. So let's see. Oh my god, everything's falling apart over here. So, how does this masculine currently think of you? Wow. They think of you as the queen of pentacles. They really think that you are uh, like a mother. You're a nurturer. You have stability. You have everything that's grounded. Like everything that this masculine's looking for in a divine counterpart, okay? That's what I'm feeling. Wow, guys. You have, you have abundance. You have everything. Like, this masculine really sees that you are everything that they have ever wanted. So how do they feel? We have here Seven of Cups. This masculine is dreaming about you, feminine. Like, seriously, they there's just so much that is in this masculine's mind. And they can't, you know, pinpoint, you know, one specific thing. It's like you're everything. That's the film getting. Like, oh my god. They're feeling like, oh, they're confused, you know? That's why there's this deception, okay? There's this deception that they do love you. They just need to open up their eyes and, and look into your gaze is what I'm feeling. Wow. You know, expect a, a powerful change around the new moon, okay? That's uh, in another, what, week or so? So, uh, what is it that they want? We have the moon in reverse. They they want to reveal their secrets, okay? They want to uh, be more intimate, more vulnerable. They want to, you know, really be open. That's what I'm saying, you know? Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is on the 18th. Okay, I see her 18. So by the 18th of the new moon, there is something that is going to be revealed. The masculine is, is trying to uh, portray that they're a lot bigger than what they really are. And it, it's like an insecurity. It's a fear because they feel like they're actually lack or maybe they don't have enough. But they're really, they're everything, okay? Like 
this masculine really needs to see them for who they are is what I'm feeling you know they need to work through their fear that is so beautiful guys they need to work through their fear okay in the new moon and there's this mystery that they're trying to figure out when it comes to you feminine that's what I'm seeing wow so what are their actions we have strength but it's in reverse. So they're working on their strength, okay? Their fear. So this masculine is still working on themselves, okay, feminines? I definitely see that. They're healing right now, and it's so beautiful. That's why patience. Patience is so beautiful, guys. It, it's the slow uh, unfolding, okay? That's what I'm seeing. This mask can realize that they have been really deceiving themselves about how they felt. And there's going to be a powerful, like, realization about the connection that they have with you. About how they truly feel. So, what is their challenge? Their challenge is to offer you something solid in the physical. That's what I'm saying. And give this offer towards you. That's what I'm seeing. That's your challenge, guys. Okay, so what is the outcome? The chariot. They're going to go for it, but they need a sense of direction. They need to ground themselves first. Grounding is very important for this masculine before they can really move forward. And they're trying to figure out which way they should go. Guys, that's beautiful. So give your masculine some time, okay? They're actually on their way, feminine. That's what I'm seeing, but, you know, they're trying to lose the karmic. Karmic is trying to figure out what in the world is going on with the masculine. <laughs> so, feminines, what is your energy towards the masculine for today? How are you currently thinking of them? How are you feeling? What is it that you want? What do you want to do about the situation? What is your challenge? And what is the outcome? <laughs> Feminines, you're the Knight of Wands. You want to come rushing in, right? Uh, you know, and I see that, you know, I feel like you, you're ready to flirt, okay? You're ready to, to get yourself out there, right? Wow, and choose the connection. I saw that in yesterday's reading, you know, how feminines, you were connecting with your masculines telepathically. It was so beautiful because it was with the bunnies, right? And I see that you're holding space in your heart for your masculine. You know, for some of you feminines, you could be living by the ocean. And you're, you're getting these downloads, okay, by uh, the full moon, okay? But I see that the new moon is actually around the corner. And, um, you know, I feel like feminines, you, you're aware that there is a karmic energy that is wanting a material um i guess handouts okay um you know from your masculine is what i'm feeling and you know you're heartbroken that your masculine's going through that you know and that's why you're feeling this unrequited love you know because the karmic is always you know receiving time focus attention even though you know the masculine isn't really in the vibration of enjoying it right but it really hurts you to really see that your masculine is actually going through a situationship like that and you know you feel like because of that you know you weren't chosen to be in a relationship with your divine counterpart and because of that feminine you have learned self-love and you're trying to uh, get out of your head, you know, because in the physical, what I'm seeing is that you're not with your masculine, but, you know, you're not actually seeing the bigger picture uh, also, okay, feminines, is what I'm seeing. And it's about union, okay? That's what I'm seeing. You want to get out of your head about having union with your masculine, having a, a marriage, having a relationship, and... You know, that's why you, you're holding back your feelings. It's like you want to come rushing in, okay? 
but at the same token you're holding back your feelings okay because why you have been left in the in the dark okay like masculines they stabbed you in the back they left you for a karmic and you know you feel like it's unrequited masculines don't love you okay because they treated you a certain way they it possibly could have told you that they didn't love you right and you were heartbroken. You're so sad about those feminines and you don't know what to think. It's like, why should I keep holding on when masculines have told you that they didn't love you, that they didn't feel the same way for you, but, you know, intuitively, you, you still feel this. That's why I feel like for some feminines, you know, you're putting yourself out there, uh, trying to flirt with other people, but, you know, what I'm feeling is that even if you tried, it feels closed off. You're not feeling it because you're really thinking about your mask on. That's what I'm saying. That's why you're meditating on this. You're meditating, you know, should you go out there and flirt? <laughs> you know, if you're in that vibration, friends, I still feel like you need to heal yourself. I see that mask on, they're healing themselves about this mystery uh, of the connection that they have with you. But feminines, you know, this unrequited love is not permanent, okay? Because I feel like there's a shift in the masculine's energy. They're actually healing themselves. They're seeing how faithful and devoted you are towards a connection. And they're coming back. Look, they're trying to figure out where do you live. This masculine's looking for you, feminine. That's the feeling that I'm getting. You know, they're trying to figure it out. You know, that's what I'm seeing. And feminines, you know, you feel like you want to get out of this separation, you know, you feel like, you know, you have healed to a point where it's time for you to make a choice and you're being super defensive. You're hanging in there by thin thread though, you know, I still feel that feminines, you know, you still need some time to reflect on, you know, other people's uh, perceptions, okay, because you're not getting the full picture from what I can feel. And it's about how masculines didn't give you an offer in the physical. And that's the challenge. The challenge for this masculine is to come back and give you this offer. Okay? In the 3D is what I'm seeing. And look. Okay? They're, they're trying to figure out. Is it this way or that? They're, they're trying to figure it out. Okay, feminine? And you, you feel like, you know, you're not good enough. You know, feminines, you know, if you're feeling this way, this unrequited love, know that you are good enough, you are lovable, okay? That doesn't mean go out and find someone to fill the void. You really truly have to heal yourself before you can move forward. And I see that that's what this masculine is doing. And that's why this karmic can't figure out why is the masculine healing at a fast rate. That's what I'm feeling, guys. <laughs> I'm actually kind of shocked, too, by seeing this, you know, coming from the masculine, but, you know, hey. So, feminines, how are you thinking? We have the Nine of Pentacles. You're thinking that masculine is still stuck in a codependent, needy situation ship dealing with a karmic, okay? You know, that's how you're thinking. And how do you feel towards the masculine? You feel like there's no new beginning. So here we are, negative Nancy on the feminine side, okay? And what did I say from yesterday's reading? If you're falling out from yesterday, okay? Do not uh, follow your eyes, okay? Don't, don't follow what's on social media and think that's truth, okay? Because that's a facade, okay? Don't follow that, but follow your heart and your intuition, because you, you're, if you're a true twin flame, you can directly connect to them in the heart and in the mind, okay? And possibly up here, okay, connecting with your masculine with the third eye, seeing inside and out, okay? Getting a, a full uh, perspective, okay, of what is going on. And feminines, little do you know, is that masculine is really like daydreaming about you, okay? They're like, oh, my feminine, my feminine. And you're, you're like, um, I don't know, is my masculine coming? You don't know. So what is it that you want? <laughs> you want the third party go away? <laughs> Masculine wants to open up and reveal themselves. I feel like this masculine 
is fearful of approaching you feminines because of this third party situation okay they're afraid of uh, revealing their true selves to you. They're trying to make themselves bigger than what they are. But really, you know, they're a lot smaller. But little did this masculine know that you accept them as they are. Not what you they could be, you know. And, you, you know, you love them, you know, in the way that they are. They are. And I feel like if they want to, per, you know, be perceived in a certain way is what i'm getting but they just need to work through their fear okay so what are your actions towards your masculine you want a commitment okay you're ready to offer your masculine something traditional something sacred and possibly you know teach your masculine a few few tricks right <laughs> about a uh, spirituality okay masculines uh they need strength they don't have the strength to pursue or show up but they're thinking about it, okay, feminine? That's what I'm seeing. So what is your challenge? Your challenge, okay, is to refrain from a speeding in and uh, talking gibberish, okay? Uh, try not to, you know, be in charge and be the chaser, okay? And go towards your masculine and speed up the process. Why? Because all of this week, what was uh, the message for the feminines? Patience, right? Everything takes time, divine timing, okay? Masculines is slowly, slowly um, opening up. They're going through their, like, ascension, from what I can feel. And feminines, I just see, like, you're just tired of this ascension. You're tired of the waiting. You're tired of, you know, being, uh, like, not with anyone, okay? Always being more focused on yourself, you know, self-love, self-healing. And you're to the point where how much longer do you have to do this when masculine has been taking their sweet time of healing, right? That's the feeling I'm getting for the feminine collective. But feminines, okay, if you're truly divine and you uh, truly love yourself and your divine counterpart, you will honor and respect the time that it takes for your masculine to go through this process. That is unconditional love. How much do you really love your masculine, right? Do you really love your masculine? Or, you know, are you settling for a karmic relationship? Because it's easier. Because nobody said this twin flame relationship was easy. Okay, if it was easy, all the twins would be happy. <laughs> Each and every one of you would be happy by now. But that, that you know, life is, is, isn't uh, meant to be easy, okay? Love, the, um, the unraveling, the unfolding of what a true love uh, meaning is, okay, is so profound. And it takes almost a lifetime to really, you know, understand the true nature of what true love is, okay? Not the word, you know, used loosely, okay of what love is you know and i asked that with my masculine before i asked him once i said well sometimes i wonder what you think true love is he didn't answer me but i always wonder that but feminines what is your outcome we have the star in reverse so you need to heal because i feel like feminines uh you're you're wavering okay i've seen this energy with you throughout the week one one day you're up one day you're down one day you're up one day you're down but you know you've been down for the past two days <laughs> so feminines i definitely see that you need balance okay you need to restore hope and faith in the connection hope within yourself okay because i feel like you know uh, for some of you you're feeling a little bit timid you want to get the ball rolling okay you're tired of waiting and you just need to practice this patience a little bit more okay and once um you know you have been through this for a while you'll understand what the true meaning of patience is okay it, it's not until you actually gone through the whole process and it could take years guys okay i'm not gonna like lie it could take a long time for some of you 
and this whole patience once you get to your destination once you know masculine really opens up and you see how beautiful this whole patience was you know and how love is kind love is patience love is you know compassion and all of these things forgiveness you're going to see how beautiful it really has been in this journey to go through something like that and really open up your heart to a true love connection that's what i'm saying guys and that's beautiful so let me go ahead and see let me go ahead and pull some live tarot cards okay and see what else does the mask i want to say towards their feminine what is it that this mask gonna like to communicate to their feminine? What is it that you like to say, masculine, towards your feminine? You are my home, and now I feel like I'm out in the cold. So, see, feminines, masculine, you know, they know who their home is. They were deceiving themselves. And I really feel like they're working on their fear so they can come back towards you, feminine, okay? Everywhere I go, I look around as if you'll magically be there. This is how this masculine is feeling, right? They look around as if you're going to be there. They, you know, it's like, you know, they go to the store. They think about you. They have these thoughts, right? These thought bubbles. And you're like, oh, I'm thinking of my feminine. And they think that you're going to be there. That That's how powerful this connection is. You know, this masculine is coming to realize that even if they try to cut the cord like in yesterday's reading, right? They realize that they couldn't. You were always there. I still feel deeply connected to you, but I won't admit it. What did I say? They still feel deeply connected to this uh, twin flame connection with you, feminine. They just, they, they won't admit it, okay? They're deceiving. They're deceiving you, and they're deceiving themselves, okay? That's what I'm seeing, guys, okay? This masculine knows. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, why? Because there's a mystery about you. They're trying to figure it out. They're trying to work through their fear. I see your smiling face in my mind's eye. Every time when they think about you, they see you smiling in their mind. And that's so beautiful. Your silence feels safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again. That's why there's there's a delay for this masculine and reapproaching you. Because the silence feels safe. Okay, that's why they're slowly coming back, feminine. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Like, you feel like this was an unrequited love situation, but just know your masculine loves you. Okay, they're just afraid of revealing their true feelings. Okay, they're afraid of becoming intimate with you. That's why I, I thought in the very beginning. And finally, I'm feeling lost and I don't know what to do about it. Well, masculines, you know. You had the right idea yesterday. You knew that feminine was waiting for you. Hurry up. <laughs> you know, like find find your your strength, right? Because masculines right now, the, you know, they need to find their strength. That's what they're they're doing right now. That's their actions towards you. They they need to find the courage to approach you, feminine. That's what I'm seeing. And feminines, whenever the masculine arrives, you're ready to offer them a commitment. You know, a committed uh, relationship is what I'm feeling. And that's really beautiful, guys. Wow. So let me go ahead and end this reading, okay, with a yogic card. Let's go ahead and pull one of those and see what is the guidance for this collective for today. Dear Spirit, what is uh, the guidance message for this collective? What is it that they need to know about the connection with your divine counterpart? So if this reading is resonating with you, this is your guidance message. Thank you. Mm. 
Vishuddha. Wow. What is this? Throat chakra? This is beautiful. Wow, look at that, guys. Okay, well, let's read this one. Number 57. Yes, throat chakra. And I'm not even wearing my throat uh, chakra pendant. You came to this world to speak and express, and you are doing so beautifully. Now is the time to let your unique vibration shine. Speak your truth. Write your message. Sing your soul's language. Express your innate art. This is a wonderful time to begin any communication-related project, such as a book, podcast, or business, or to take your existing project to the next level. The throat chakra reminds us to speak our truth, so continue to share what's on your mind and your closest relationships. Remember that this is just an essential to listen as it is to speak. And great communication skills come in mastering both. Listen to those around you to deepen relationships and listen to those who inspire you to deepen wisdom. Know that most communication is not in the words spoken but rather in their expression wow what did i say earlier guys okay this is the time for you to craft your own so the nonverbal communication is through looking into the eyes of your divine counterpart okay and i feel like that's for the masculines masculines need to be more vulnerable and look into the eyes of your divine feminine and connect to the windows of your soul is what I'm feeling. That is nonverbal communication, okay? And also the nonverbal communication is through touch, okay? Uh, through, you know, uh, senses, right? And so what I'm feeling is that this masculine also has a gift, very much like their divine feminine. It's a gift of speaking, it's a gift of wisdom, it's a gift of teaching. You know, I really feel like this masculine, um, it's time for them to ascend, level up, and be in their place so that they could surpass where the feminine has been, uh, you know, raising the vibration of the planet by doing their light work. And I feel like it's time for this masculine to speak up because in the past, this masculine was deceiving themselves. They were not opening up their throat chakra. They were closed off. They had no words to speak when it comes to you. And because of this deception of them not expressing their feelings towards you, feminine, you were feeling this unrequited love. But little did you know that this masculine could not speak their words because their heart was in pain. That's what I'm feeling. And so that's why this masculine is learning to heal themselves and also there is a mystery when it comes to you because i really see that with this particular card she carefully folds the paper with great care and as much precision she can give to the art she dangles them on a string lightly moving her fingers around in a small dance only she knows the secret wishes written in them filled with words of thought and secrets someday though she may share the contents of her heart hidden within but for now only she knows and that's the masculine and i really feel like feminine you have already possibly have done something similar to this but i feel like this is the masculine either they have physically done this and i know they're not making origami like <laughs> Uh, you know, decor, right? Hanging in their place, right? Some of them might be doing some origami, but what I'm getting is that this masculine, um, they have a hard time of expressing or communicating themselves through actual words. So feminines, if you find that your masculine does not have the words to speak towards you, just know that they are fear, okay? They're, uh, they're fearful of expressing their truth. So understand that feminines, okay? And communicate it to them in ways that they're comfortable in communicating, whether it being a text message or, you know, a slow unfolding, okay? Because I definitely feel like this masculine 
someone has a lot that they want to share, but they're keeping to themselves. And that's why this throat chakra is very important. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So in the reverse, is there something you know and need to say, but you can't muster up the courage to say it? What did I say, guys? Okay. Have you been waiting to get to a specific point to begin sharing your truth? But every day that moment feels further and further away. Let me tell you something. That moment is now. It is time for you to begin expressing the divinity that, is, uh, that exists inside of your soul through the gifts the universe has blessed you with, whether it's through words, movement, food, art or music it's time to express yourself with your truth and let it echo wow that is so beautiful you have to learn you know how your masculine's love language is and how they express or communicate to you for some masculines it's, it's through service right it was through service from what i can feel you know and um and I saw that, uh, you know, when I, I put up this faithfulness card, it was through acts of service, this masculine shows how they love you, feminine. So do you see that this dog is not really barking, right? They're just standing there being loyal. <laughs> I feel like some of these masculines, okay, when they communicate, their, their method of communication is through acts of service, okay, trying to be there for you, okay, because they don't know how to say I love you. The other uh, way is through uh, poetry. It could be through written word. It could be through a song. It could be through food. Some of your masculines could, uh, you know, be a really good cook. And uh, to make it up to you, they could be taking you out to a picnic, finally. Okay, because I saw that in the underlying energy. And, you know, as this masculine is <laughs> making this food, <laughs> that's how they're expressing their love towards you. Sorry, guys. I keep thinking of my masculine because he loves to cook. And I enjoy watching him cook in the kitchen. <laughs> I remember. Anyway. Alright, I'm going to end this reading, okay? So, I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. Um, thank you again for all your comments, your likes, your shares. And your subscribes it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. And, um, hey guys, okay? If you need to take the edge off, <laughs> I have these bath bombs, okay? <laughs> you can see it at the end uh, of this video, um, but I made these bath bombs especially for you so that you can detox and cleanse and cleanse your aura. Um, you know, I made these myself, guys, and they smell wonderful, especially uh, this Heaven Scented one, which was inspired by a lovely Charlotte, okay? And uh, Charlotte actually uh, is sending me some cedar and rosemary so I can make some sage ones for the collective. Isn't that beautiful? So, you know, I really feel like, you know, feminines, you know, connect with your soul tribe, you know, um, we're in this together, okay? You know, we have each other from when I can feel you know and you know that's why you know i made this is to help the collective you know to cleanse you know any kind of negative energies you know that might be around your aura okay and guys for a limited time only you get to have this lay okay so uh you know you can have you like an exotic uh bathing experience okay guys so you know check it out on my website so thank you again for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye